Hi everyone, welcome to Soul Print Intuitive Tarot. I'm pretty sure today is April 13th. I'm really, really glad you're here. I know I've been a little bit AOL lately. Um, for those of you who so generously sent your sympathies, your condolences, your love, your light, your energy, your own personal stories, thank you. Um, Skittles, um, getting that sick that fast just literally threw us all for an absolute loop. It was completely unexpected. Um, my daughter, Victoria, is actually, has always been Skittles' primary people. And, um, she was really heart-touched that, um, so many of you would reach out. Um, so not only do we as a family collectively thank you, but Victoria also asked me to please pass along her her gratitude and her thanks um so life life goes on right and it's it right now it's it's i don't know that it we were adapting to it because tika of course is still in the kennel we go visit her every couple of days take her out etc the cats are with us i think it's once we move on friday and his little pitter patter is missing i think that's actually when it's really really gonna hit home okay so um, I am going to take a look at the complete implosion of the GOP party. Um, it just strikes me that as days go by, it's getting crazier and crazier and worse and worse. And I want to take a bit of a look at it and see if we can sort of, you know, I don't know, see what the future holds, see what the current strategy is. Um... So, and of course, I mean, they had that big hoo-ha um, at Mar-a-Lago over the weekend, and then Trump just sort of threw everybody under the bus, including Mitch McConnell. Um, it was supposed to be this whole unity of the GOP thing, and, you know, he proved exactly as he always does that he is not in unity with anybody except himself, his money, and his brand. So, um, I'm not going to get you to come on down, but I will show you the cards as we go along. So, I have a question, and my question is, um, GOP current future, GOP current future, GOP current future. Here we go. Okay. So here we start. We're starting with the Page of Cups. So that's an indicator. Um, you know that um, there are still these very sort of juvenile feelings connecting the GOP and Trump. It is like, you know that expression, like he's their crack. That's exactly what he is. He is their preferred drug of choice. He is what makes all of their most outrageous fantasies and desires feel attainable. And so they will not let go of him. Even though it's illogical, even though it doesn't make sense, even though they are literally walking willingly, enthusiastically even, to their own destruction. That's where they're at. The communications that come out of Trump are so, God, i got to start remembering to call him the other guy, um, that come out of him. Um, they are so self-serving. And nobody, nobody can quite understand why it is that the GOP will not just look at history and recognize and understand that how he has behaved before is exactly how he is going to continue to go forward. But apparently they don't. So any messages that come out of, you know, Camp Mar-a-Lago, they are for his sole and exclusive um a purpose and benefit. He is not going to do or say one thing that in fact actually helps the GOP, particularly any members of the GOP who 
are not in either alignment with the degree of hero worship that he believes he deserves or who are going to bring a shadow to his door. Hello, Matt Gates, who was just, um, I don't know, just flat denied access to Trump because the last thing Trump needs is somebody who was having an issue with um, sexual relationships that are not healthy or on the up and up coming to his door and being amplifying that. There really is a, a division now within the Republican Party. Um, it is sort of like the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay, we're going to delve into that. And of course, here we have the devil representing exactly, exactly what is going on. They are doing everything that is backwards and dangerous and detrimental for their own longevity. And they are doing it because they are following this Pied Piper literally right into destruction. I'm going to pause you for just a second because Tika is on her way into this hotel room. So I'm just going to pause, let them come in the door and um, let her say hi. I'll be right back. Hi, here's Tika. There's Noah, Nova. So um, my daughter informs me that they swung into Starbucks on the way and Tika just got this little tiny called a puppuccino and really what it is is just a cup full of whipped cream so she's a little wired for sound the cat wants to know why he didn't get any all right um hang on i'll get back to you in a sec okay so let's carry on um i'm gonna get through this i can't quiet i can't um claim a quiet background uh, but we'll do what we can Okay, so as I was saying, you've got um, somebody who is completely self-focused and a party who doesn't yet understand that he literally is their destruction. So, where do we go from here, one wonders? Ah, okay, well, so where we go from here is exactly this, look. They are searching to find a way forward but they can't because there's no unity within the ranks, right? I mean, you have that group of people, and this is what's so sad, is it's not only that they are aligned with this guy because they believe it is going to be good for their political careers, but I think what is worse is they actually really believe what he says. Um, and I'm not saying that some of the others don't, but... They're at least savvy enough to keep it quiet or not be quite so in your face about the fact that um, you're nobody unless you're a great big corporation and you can do stuff for them and so they'll do stuff for you. And so you've got this, you've got dirty money. You've got a lot of money. Have Did any of you, by the way, happen to check the reporting on... Um, on Trump's latest um, fundraising, literally like sending out messages that say things like, we are checking to see if you have abandoned us. Have you defected to the crazy, you know, left wing? I mean, it just insane, insane, insane. Um, you know, click here for a $50 donation. Click here for a monthly $50 donation. Click here if you want to give us more. I mean, it is just nuts. And apparently people are being like bombarded with these fundraising requests. And so, but again, this isn't about the party. This is about him trying to line his pockets before literally, you know, the floodgates open to his, you know, legal financial ruin, all right? So, yeah, this you know what? This is it. They're just so tied to him that they really, honestly, it's like they can't see clearly and they can't 
there's not really clarity about how to move this thing forward. So how do you move something forward if you don't know how? If, there's, if you don't know the direction you're going in, and that is exactly what's going on. You have them being so tightly tied together, even though it is completely, completely destructive for the party. And there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. And, you know, people are trying to make decisions, but truly, truly, it is literally like they're blindfolded because this is the thing, right? He says one thing. And then, oh, he just throws you under the bus because that's what he does. You know, because it doesn't suit him in the moment to say what he thought he was going to say. And so this is going to happen. Listen up. This wasn't the first time. This is going to be the only time you're going to see this happen several more times. It's going to continue to play out. I also want to say that as the um, temperature heats up with Matt Gates, and it is going to you're going to see even more of a tearing apart of that party because even though right now nobody is standing behind him, well, except for Jim Jordan, and that sort of says it all, right? Oh, and that green person, whatever her, Marjorie Green or whatever she, whoever she is, um, that's what you've got supporting him, right? And so the rest of the party is already pulling back, but they're going to continue to do so. And you're also going to see sort of a no entrance sign posted at Mar-a-Lago for Matt Gates. And additionally, don't be surprised if going forward, you also see that same no entrance sign posted for anybody in the GOP party who will not be a supplicant to Trump. Just as simple as that. He really is in this, I am, you know, king, I am emperor, I am what the people need and want. And meanwhile, he's not understanding that the messages coming out of the White House are all about, look what Biden's doing for you. Look what the Biden administration is doing for you. They've got vaccines in your arm. They're giving you money. They've created an infrastructure program. They're going to give you jobs. And so fewer and fewer people are actually going to be listening to the GOP and to that guy who won't be quiet in Florida. In fact, you know, actually, that, that's actually a good name for both, you know, the other guy and Matt Gates, because he's another one who's out there blabbing about, you know, he will not be, you know, whatever. Um, but he, he is. His career's over. He's going to have nothing, nothing, nothing but bad news. Um, coming forward for several months and he's not going to be able to recover. I mean, I think Gates should really, really just take a moment and understand his career is pretty much done. So there's going to be more noise coming out of this guy, this other guy who, you know, loves the sound of his voice. And frankly, what you have, what is surrounding him now are people who just want him to not bug them. Okay. It's sort of like, it's kind of like when a parent gets really, really, really worn down by a kid and you just want them to shush. Because you just need to catch your breath. He's not going to shush. And as a result, nobody is minding him, right? Nobody is trying to rein him in. Um, I mean, and that was really apparent, right? Because there was this whole event for the, on the weekend that was supposed to be unity. And instead, he decided that, you know, he didn't really want to say that. And so he was going to have this whole other message. And whoever, you know, got sucker punched, well, so be it. They got sucker punched. Let's see if we can get a handle on what this thing looks like going forward. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's some problems coming for them. They're going to get more and more bad news. Um, and, you know, it's interesting because it's not only going to be bad news for the federal GOPs. It's also going to be bad news coming down the pike for just frankly, Republicans, um, Republicans in Georgia, Republicans in, in Texas, et cetera, et cetera. 
as they start losing support or continue to lose support, not only of the country and the people, but corporations, there's going to continue to be a great deal of pushback connected to this whole voting rights suppression situation. There's going to continue to be pushback against um, police forces, as an example, who seem to have a very strong kind of Republican leaning or, a, you know, a non-inclusive leaning. People are going to start pushing back and pushing back and saying, you know what, this just is so not acceptable. We're done with this. We're absolutely done. And so it really feels like if you're a Republican, you're going to be fighting an uphill battle. I just don't see how this is going to get better. And the reality is, as Biden, as you know, this is one of my cards for him, as Biden continues to move forward, going literally from strength to strength to strength, you're going to see some really erratic and dangerous behavior coming out of Republicans, federal, state, local. Um, it, there's just going to be, you know, caged animals, right? They're at their most dangerous. And that's exactly kind of the energy that surrounds this group. So it really feels as if going forward, you're going to see literally the destruction of the party, okay? Because they're going to keep trying to hold up these shiny balls. And people are like, yeah, you know what? It's not working anymore, okay? Um, the ineffectiveness of that previous administration killed more than 500,000 of us, more than a million some odd infected, and in less than 80 days, you have, oh my God, what is it, half, three quarters of the country already, already vaccinated. So, judgment is going to continue to rain down on the Republicans as they keep trying to distract. And I don't think it's going to be successful. I don't believe it's going to work. Because the reality is that the security, the success, the abundance, the ability to grow and go forward, that is coming forward with this administration. And the reality is that all that's happening now, certainly federally, is those GOP people really are just being seen as irrational, obstructionists. And this unfortunately appears to be the road that they want to go down. And so that image is going to continue to get cemented in. And they're not going to be able to change the narrative. They're really not. So who are they left with? They're left with magna people, right? That's who they're left with. They're left with conspiracy theorists. They're left with the um, Tucker Carlson's what a disgusting human being he is of the world. They're left with people who are prejudiced, people who are greedy, people who are literally not happy unless they are destroying everything and everyone in their path that is not exactly like them. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle the cards and I'm just going to do one more cut because I want to see if I can get a bit of a handle on the um, kind of the future, like what this looks like going forward. Because right now it just looks like chaos and shambles. Um, but I'd like to see if I can focus in a little bit and see if I can get some clarity about what this looks like going forward in the, you know, I mean, honestly, what is it, a year and a half before there's midterm elections. So these people really need to get it together, except they're not going to. And the reason they're not going to is because nobody wants to upset the other guy. Um, you know, nobody wants to rock his boat because a significant number of people still continue to refuse to believe that he's actually the dynamite that's going to blow up the boat. Let me see what we can find out going forward. GOP tomorrow, GOP tomorrow, GOP tomorrow.
kind of feels like we're almost back where we started, right? You've got that attachment to him, that sense of unity. He's not going to... The power, unfortunately, right now is with the people who will not pull away. Okay? There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes when that stuff starts coming out. And it's going to... Um, it's going to get really, really bad for them. It's going to be bad news after bad news after bad news. And there we go. There we go. There's the devil. And, the, you know, it's like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They are going to bring ruin down on themselves. And they don't care, unfortunately, who they take down with them because they are just so determined that he speaks to them. And so they only hear what he says and that resonates with them. It is about prejudice. It is about greed. It is about the kind of people and the kind of attitudes that are a reflection of those dinosaur attitudes that are not going to survive as we move into the fourth and fifth dimension shifts. And so, you know, what do they create going forward? I think what you're going to see is after a sort of a final reckoning, you're going to see a rebuilding process. But at this point, no one has any clarity about what that looks like. I also want to say that, you know, I've often said that Mitch McConnell is just not going to be around for the long term. I'm not getting anything that indicates otherwise. I don't know what that means. I don't know, you know, if there's a sudden illness or he just throws up his hands and says, I'm done. Um, but I don't see him having a whole lot of longevity within that party. Because certainly he has made his feelings about that guy uh well known and so he is not going to have the support of anybody who supports the mar-a-lago king all right um just energetically i want to pass this information along as far as the passing of prince philip this was the information i got this is the insights i got um I believe that Queen Elizabeth is going to be on the throne for no longer than three more years. It could be considerably less than that, but I, if, if it is, it won't exceed three years. Um, Prince Charles will take over the throne. The Queen, I don't believe, is going to bypass Charles because, you know, William is still a young dad. And I think that from her own life experience, the last thing she wants to do is kind of take away their dad, right? They're still very, very young. Um, and he has a really long time ahead of him. So it would not surprise me at all if Charles doesn't ascend to the throne. And I see him not being on the throne actually for more than 10 or so years. And then William taking over. Do I think that the monarchy is still going to be around in, you know, 15 years? I do. But I think that under Charles and under William, it could really undergo some significant transformations that makes it a little less royal and a little bit more um, I guess I want to say not so distant, not so separated from the people. Okay, so here we go. Um, I am taking possession of my new home on Friday. Um, we are expecting some busy, busy days in that following week. And the last week of April, I am really, really hoping that things are settled enough and calm enough that I can get back to something that sort of looks like a normal schedule. Um, I'm also really wanting to um, resume the Sunday um, positive energy circles and the Sopra Insights channel. I'm looking to do um, a more in-depth reading on when animals pass, when pets pass. Um, but that will take place in May. Um, so the um, positive energy circle and the Insights channel will resume sometimes around the beginning of May. 
Um, until I see you again, take really good care. Be well. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.